Hi everybody, Zach Trax, and welcome back to another episode reaction of Demon Slayer. Today we're moving on to episode 8 and going off from there. Last time we had Tanjiro officially become a Demon Slayer. He went off on his first mission to kill a demon, and his sister Nezuko woke up and joined him as well. And the two of them actually were able to defeat the demon in the end. They worked together. It was awesome to see. And I'm very surprised at the ending we got, guys. We had this name drop of a demon that apparently was the one who killed Tanjiro's family, and he is apparently also responsible for being the demon that is turning humans into demons. He's the only one, apparently, that is doing that, which is it's very surprising to me. Like, if you kill this demon, does all the humans that got turned turn back into a human? Is that going to be the way we save Nezuko? Or is it going to be unrelated? I have no idea, but I'm also wondering, like, how old is this demon? Is this going to be, like, one of the first demons? Like, are all demons formerly human? Like, that is a question I have. So if you stop this guy, what happens to all the other demons? Do they all die off? Is, like, this one the master of them all? Or, again, is it just completely unrelated and not matter at all? Like, I don't know. I'm very, very curious to know guys how this all works and i'm very very excited to continue on so thank you as always for joining me it means a lot that you're here they came face to face in the last episode and we learned that he has a family as well but then he's hiding his demon qualities and actually turned a guy right into a demon in front of tanjiro so i feel like now we're gonna have to battle this new character this guy that turned into a demon sadly right in front of his like girlfriend or something i don't know it's crazy guys i'm so excited again thank you so much for joining me as always it means a lot that you're here please like this video please subscribe to the channel for more reactions is coming soon we do have a patreon as well we can help support this channel so feel free to check it out the link is in the description below and thank you to those of you that have already done so i'm patreon you can view this episode reaction for just a dollar a month it's unedited and unfiltered it means a lot if you consider so please do if you can and here we go with episode eight of demon slayer let's go oh yeah here we go like just a little slice on the neck is all it takes like that's crazy Oh my god. And I was like, she, like, I don't think she can turn into a demon. She's just going to get killed by this demon. Like, other demons can't turn humans into demons. Like, I feel like that's been established now. Um, but this one guy has the ability to do that. And that's just crazy. Like, I, you know, you think of it like vampires and stuff like that, where you just automatically, like, vampires. Like, I watched Buffy, the Vampire Slayer guys. I'm a big fan of that show. So if you know that story, you know probably what I'm leaning towards. Like, is it like that, where it's like vampires could kill you or choose to convert you? You know, and that's how I kind of thought this was going along with demons as well. Like, demons could naturally kill you just to get your blood and stuff like that. Or do they have the ability to convert you? And we're now learning that they can't just this one demon demon can and it's just wild it's just a crazy concept guys i'm just i'm here for it i'm so excited <laughs> let's go i think we're gonna see him yeah right here this guy is our main villain apparently uh just reminds me a little bit of michael jackson the appearance i don't know if that's intentional or if that's just like a you know just me thinking about that i don't know but i kind of get a little mj vibe from the way he looks with that white hat and the, the strands of hair coming down the front and everything we met this character with the blonde hair last time a little bit more and he was one of the few survivors from the trial so he is also a demon slayer the credits are every uh, of course telling me that he is going to be joining tanjiro and his team uh the team that they eventually are going to form I don't know. The fragrance of bewitching blood. Let's go. What is it? What's wrong? The woman's wound doesn't look fatal. Press down harder. It needs more pressure. Tie it down with a rope. Okay. Is he going to kill this guy in front of the crowd? Or is he somehow going to get through to him like he did his sister? Yep, I knew this was going to be his way out. They're gone. But like, what can you do at this point? You know? Damn. Damn it all! Oh, he's not happy. This guy's face looks like he's lost his mind. Help me get that kid off him. Let me go. I don't want to let this person kill anybody. Scent of illusory blood, 
visual dream. What's with the flowers? Wow. What the hell is this? Another demons out here? <laughs> is it a good one? Oh. I want to help. And I want to destroy Kimotsuchi as well. Wow, okay. <laughs> the plot thickens. Be a good girl for mommy. Take them back to the house. Come on. Let's hit one more bar. <laughs> Are you feeling all right there? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not even a little bit drunk yet. Huh? Hey, what the hell are you doing, mister? Apologies. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Like he seems like he's what trying hard me? not to Look just randomly convert people into demons. Clothes. Showing a lot of You're restraint here. Me off. You and your stupid pale face. <laughs> wow. Jeez, he killed him. What did you do to my kid brother? You bastard! My God, <laughs> crazy Simon. <laughs> Does my face seem unusually pale? Do I look a bit sickly? You be Get the impression that he like doesn't like alive. that he's a demon. That he like gets really angry. It wasn't until they said he looked dead, or you know, and he's asking her now all those questions. Like, oh my God. Oh my god, she... <laughs> My goodness. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god. I feel like he's had a lot of time to, like, learn... How to make a demon well and not so well. There's a demon slayer who wears Hanafuda earrings. I want you to bring me his head. What is it? What's wrong? Uh oh, here we go. Hurry it up while nobody's looking. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry that I left everything for you to take care of. So how's she doing? She'll make a full recovery. But her husband has to be locked up. He's restrained in the basement. My name is Tamayo, and this is Yushiro. I hope you two can be friends. I made several adjustments to our bodies so that we could continue to live without harming any human beings. And Yushiro needs even less blood than I do. Since I'm the one who turned him into a demon. Oh, she can do it too? How did I do it? As far as anyone knows, Kimotsuchi is the only one who can create demons. It took me over 200 years, and after all that, I could only transform Yushiro. Creating more demons is not one of my goals. And I only do so when necessary. The terminally ill or injured. Only when they won't survive. And okay. even in those cases... I always ask in advance if they truly prefer to live on as a demon. Once someone becomes a demon, is there a way to turn them back again? Like, you would naturally think no, you couldn't transform them back, but the show is kind of adding in all these extra, like, abilities and rules and stipulations that maybe there's a demon that would have that power to reverse it. I, it's very possible now. I don't know. Oh my. That's just what I was saying. Like, there's got to be some demon out there with the ability or some somebody who's figured it out, maybe.
If it's really the only way, then I'll do it. Besides, if you research all that blood and you can create this medicine, then it won't just be Nezuko, will it? A whole Change lot of the world. people will be saved too. Uh oh. Let's go. Next episode. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. So the fight will be on. Like, I feel like he has this whole new, like, side quest or, like, this new mission, you know, not from the Demon Slayer Corps, but, like, his own personal mission. To, you know, you know, he's going to be doing jobs for the Demon Slayer Corps, but then also personally, you know, capturing the blood of some of the demons that he kills, you know, for this purpose, for to help his sister, you know, and reporting back to this doctor. Like, I think that's really cool and really interesting, and I'm very excited to see where we go next from here, guys. So let's go right into the next one. Here we go. All right, episode nine, the Tamari Demon and the Arrow Demon. I always feel weird when I, like, forget somebody's name, which I forgot a lot of names already so far, but, you know, I like that I can just call this guy the Arrow Demon, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, rather, you know, I say, like, oh, the Ball Man or the Green Dress Girl, you know, like, so forgive me on the names, guys. I'll learn the names eventually, but let's go. Here we go. Just like the Beast Titan throwing some stuff. Oh man. Oh. What? Oh my god, not expecting that at all. Wow. <laughs> this just got real, man. Like, oh my god. Blown away by that happening. I thought he was going to be a character that stuck around for a bit. Oh, got it. Oh, oh, she's waiting for that, oh man. Oh, jeez. Yushiro, okay. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. <laughs> Rest in peace, Yushiro. Oh my god, they're showing it again. They had me, man. <laughs> of course it's grow back. I was, I was just about to say, like, could it grow back? Because they keep showing the body. Oh my god. Lady Tamayo! I tried to tell you, didn't I? I said not to get involved with a demon slayer, and I was right! Back with a vengeance, and look at that. Has his hair back, too. Okay. Here we go. I'm actually kind of pumped now that this guy's back, ready to go, like... Can be more. Oh my, <laughs> more aggressive. <laughs> She's ramping up too. Let's go. There's 12 minions. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh my God. What is happening now? Oh my gosh. This show. This show is crazy, man. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. My goodness. It's crazy. Okay. They're working together. That makes a lot of sense. But the fact that, like, these abilities can be now shared, like, another whole new concept to this show that's really unique, really interesting to me, adds a whole new layer, guys. Like, it's crazy. I'm really into this show. Oh, spotted. Let's go. Wow. Possibly. 
I feel like he'll have to get the blood of all of those 12 members that they mentioned. Maybe he'll get all 12 and then that will be enough to figure out whatever they need to do. But there's no way I'm going to let you do anything that will displease him whatsoever. Let's escape while they're all distracted. No, join the fight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He saw her, he was serious. He saw her reaction and was like, "Actually, I'm gonna be so brave and do what I gotta do here." Oh man! Oh, we're gonna need you to deal with the arrow guy first. Let the rest of us take care of the Tamari woman. Understood. Nezuko, don't push yourself too hard. Oh man. Jeez. You never thought of arrows as like a cool attack, but man, this is pretty cool. I'll never look at arrows the same way again. God. <laughs> because you have the ability to regenerate, you could do a lot of crazy stuff in this show, and I feel like they're already doing it. It's just like it's crazy. You forget every time. In the split second something like that happens, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh wait, they can regrow it, they can regenerate, it's fine, we'll be okay. But my gosh, just for that brief moment, you think it's all over. There you go. Send them back. Wow. That was cool. And apparently that was the end as well, man. Oh my gosh, we got to see one more. We got to see how this all ends. We have one of them defeated, but like, are they going to finish him off for good? Or will he like regenerate, regrow and be back in the fight before they can figure out how to formally stop him for good? I don't know, man. Uh, this other girl demon is crazy tough too. She's fighting like two on one. Like it's crazy. Are, how are they going to do this with her next? I don't know. Very excited to find out, guys. We're going to go right into it. So here we go with one more. Let's go. All right, episode 10, Together Forever. As far as the prediction, I feel like maybe they're talking about the two villains. Like, maybe they're going to die together. Maybe they, like, have always been together. I don't know. Like, I'm very torn on what that could mean. I did it. The Whirlpool or it could mean something with his underwater. sister, like... But I used his attack to gain power and envelop the arrows... Like, no matter what, we're going to be together forever. Possibly. I don't know. How could you do this to me? Oh, man. Oh, no. He's got me. It's not over yet. stronger than any of the arrows he's hit me with before. Jeez. Water wheel! Oh, my God. <laughs> Waterfall basin! No. You haven't suffered enough. I'm not done. Not just yet. I thought he was like gonna regenerate, but it looks like he's deteriorating at this point. When will it end? Not yet! I still haven't He gone. Collect the blood <laughs> before he's fully gone. I cracked my rib and broke my leg. Oh jeez. Uh, uh. 
It's no use. I'm so exhausted I can't even grip my sword. Wow. Hang on, I'm coming. She can kick him now. The leg grew back and it's more tougher than ever, maybe? Wow. Look out! <laughs> if you're a 12 Kizuki, I have a question. Get out of the way! Move it, you damn fugitive! One question. That's all I'm asking. Do you have any idea who Kibutsuji really is? <gasps> He's a coward. Surely you've realized that. He manipulates demons to make them behave. Demons like you. Of course. Lady Tomayo was cast to be spilled. Yeah. Makes you wonder, is she actually speaking the truth, or is she just stalling and making stuff up? Like, I feel like it's pretty truthful. Like, I feel like that could definitely be something that is going on. That he's manipulating demons and all that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> oh, very graphic this show. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Crazy. Well, don't mess with the doctor, man. <laughs> she gonna collect the blood? Just Think gonna be able to come back or the demon we fought. She's not one of the twelve Kizuki. The twelve Kizuki all have numbers engraved on their eyeballs, but she doesn't have one. Which means that the other demon most likely doesn't either. Maybe they were like thirteen and fourteen. Maybe they just wanted to be the twelve, recognized as elite twelve. Pathetic. That demon was incredibly stupid. So the blood probably isn't necessary to collect. Hurting Lady Tamayo. She deserved what happened to her. But we're gonna do this one anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. Luck, this blood will still be instrumental for us there we go. in developing a cure. Wow. You thought you were one of the twelve Kizuki. Deceived. Forced to fight. And now, it's Kibutsuji's curse that killed you. Kibutsuji. Even the people who follow him get treated this way. He truly is a demon. Oh, man. So many layers to that villain, too. Like, I'll talk about it more at the end. Nezuko! <laughs> uh, I thought the spell Nezuko was under only made her see humans as family. And Yushiro and I are demons. I said stop! Not to Nezuko. You two are as human as anyone to her. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nezuko. There is a way for me to keep you alive if you want. However, it will cost you your humanity. Do you still wish to live? Wow. To protect Nezuko, 
Would you like us to take her with us when we go? <laughs> Obviously, I can't promise her safety. But I believe she'll face less danger than she will in battle. Together forever. There's our title. She's sticking with him. We're off. Oh, there he is. Well, we are going to have to find out next time what he's actually doing. I'm assuming it's proposing <laughs> to some girl that he probably spoken to once, if I had to guess. Um, and she wants nothing to do with him. But, yeah, he, like, he seems like the type of character, like, if you've seen Attack on Titan, I, I'm reminded of, like, Armin, you know, with him. Like, And it's probably the hair, you know, if anything, um, reminding, you know, the sidekick to the main character kind of thing. Um I know he joins Tanjiro just from the opening credits. Like, we know that he's going to be joining him and Nezuko. It's inevitable. So I feel like that will kick off in the next episode. Um, but as far as, like, what he's going to bring to the table, where's, you know, his backstory and the, all that, like, what's he going to be involved with that kind of then falls in the plate of Tanjiro to help out with, like, I feel like that's going to all kind of stuff like that happen as well. Um... But yeah, guys, I forgive me because I'm still trying to learn a lot of these names. Uh, the 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 main villain, like I'm blanking out his name again all of a sudden. Um, but I'm just again still really surprised that they've introduced him so early. Like I feel like it's it was such like an ambiguous thing. Like the demon that killed my family, I'm going to find them someday, you know. And like we could go off a whole season or two before you finally learn the truth. Um, but we have it. We have the answer. We have. A face to the name already? Like, let's see a preview. Oh, that will be easy to remember. Okay, so we're heading to a mansion next time. Sounds fun. Um, so as I was saying, guys, this main villain, like, again, I'm very surprised that he's on the show already, that, like, they've met, all that stuff. I'm happy that it's happened. I'm just surprised. And as far as what's next, like, I'm honestly a little surprised that he's off on, you know, following the crow on the next adventure. Like, you know, it kind of seemed like that villain lives in that town. I would have been like... Let's track him down. You know, were they passing through? Were they residing there? Like, it's it's so hard to know for sure. But, you know, you at least have now, like, a sort of a centralized location. You know, like, the, the, the doctor lady was, um, Lady Tamio was trying to leave to get away from him because they're too close. So that tells me that he, like, resides in that area. So I was expecting... Um, Tanjiro to kind of like start going door to door almost or something like that just to try and find this guy to get the revenge and the justice that he he deserves you know so time will tell uh, as far as how that's all going to play out I'm excited to know more uh, we have these demons with more and more cool unique abilities we had um Tanjiro kind of combined his own ability so I you know I feel like he can combine his ability with other demon slayers eventually and have some kind of cool combo attack that'll be awesome to see I'm sure that'll happen eventually and 
yeah, guys, we're going to formally meet this uh, blonde-haired character, this other Demon Slayer graduate, uh, in the next episode and learn more about him, and that'll be exciting, too. So I can't wait for that. Hopefully you can't either. Thank you again so much for joining me, as always. Please drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this reaction and this episode. I always love to chat with you guys about it, and we'll be back next time for more Demon Slayer. Thanks again for watching. Have a great one, and we will see you next time.